our eye ornament drawing tutorials. So today you see we are talking about three-dimensional spheres instead of just planar ornaments. Uh, what you see here is one of the spherical patterns that are offered by eye ornament to draw on the sphere. So underlying this uh, ornament here, there is actually a planar pattern. And in this tutorial, I want to explain the connections between the planar pattern and the spherical symmetry pattern. So uh, let me just erase uh, this drawing here and start from scratch with some simple drawing so that it's just enough that you can see what uh, I'm talking about. So here is a six fold uh, symmetry with a reflection. And in that symmetry, I draw, well, some little objects here. So you see you have a six fold star here and you have a three fold rotation. And at some other place, you have a two fold rotation here. And now I ornament offers the possibility to take any uh, planar pattern and turn it into a corresponding uh, three dimensional spherical pattern. And for that in the symmetry menu, you simply have to push the sphere button here. And then immediately your ornament becomes a uh, spherical ornament and uh, in that ornament you still can draw so if i put down my pen here and make some more annotations everything works as usual so uh, you can even zoom here uh, so if you zoom you can draw in the zoomed version of your ornament and uh, perhaps i want to have like that here. Uh, and another important thing is if you want to rotate the sphere, you have to use two fingers. So with two fingers, you can rotate the sphere as well. And essentially, this is everything you should know about uh, the spherical drawing as in the planar case. There are several symmetry types that you have here. So if you play with them, you see uh, you get different types of repetition patterns uh, and I really as usual recommend uh, play with the features to get some kind of feeling for what you get here. Um, I want to do one more thing here. I want to explain a little bit about the underlying mass of how to come from a planar pattern to uh, the spherical one. And for that, I want to take you into the mass explanation part uh, of iOrnament. So, you know, iOrnament has this help menu, which gives you access to essentially everything what's going on in iOrnament and explains what happens there. And if you go to all topics in the help menu, uh, then you see there is one uh, point, the mass of ornaments. And if you click that, you are brought to a kind of mass tutorial. And in that mass tutorial, uh, at the very last pages, uh, there is an explanation of what is going on uh, with the spherical pattern. And I want to show you that because I simply find that very beautiful. So what? how to get a spherical pattern? So you take a planar symmetry pattern and on that symmetry pattern, you place a kind of net of things to cut out. And then you cut out these squares that are placed consistently with your symmetry pattern and you fold them. So you see now I'm folding them together. They form a cube at some point. So you have to get a three dimensional cube. And if you take this cube like an air balloon and blow it up, then you finally end with the sphere. And it works similar for the six fold groups. So let me take instead of that uh, four fold pattern here, let me take a six fold repetition pattern. Again, you place some kind of folding net on top of it and you fold it together. Actually, this time it's folding together to an 
icosahedron and then you take this icosahedron and you blow it up and at the very end you get a spherical pattern and that's the magic behind uh, the sphere and i think that's by far enough for today you can get back from the uh, mass menu by pressing the home button here and now we are back in our usual drawing engine uh, and uh, yes enjoy the patterns that you get on the sphere keep on doodling and see you in our next tutorial mm -hmm.